Where does the water come from? I asked. She told me that the water company takes care of that. Each month we pay so that we can have water at the house. So I went to the water company to find out how water is made. The man in charge told me that they didn't make water at the water company. But he told me that every month we pay to take care of our environment and to make sure people upstream could continue to make water for us. He showed me the place where I would find that machine that actually makes water. So I set off upstream searching for the water machine. The people working in the fields told me to keep on going, that the water maker was further upstream. At last, I arrived at the village high up in the mountain. Suddenly, there it was, at last, the water maker. I asked them if this was the machine that makes the water. They laughed and said no, that this was a centrifuge huge, and it was used to remove honey from bee boxes. But what about the water? Do the bees then make the water? Again, they laughed and one of them told me that he would take me to visit the water maker. And he would tell me a story about the water maker and the bees. Together we went to the forest and it was beautiful. We walked by streams that gurgled as he was calling out to play. We finally arrived at the beautiful waterfall. We were about to find the water maker. I was surprised to find out that I could drink the water. It was so delicious and sweet. But where was the water maker? I didn't see anything. All I could see were the trees and the mountain. The man from town told me that everything that I saw around me was in fact a great big water maker. The trees in the forest catch the fog and raindrops from the clouds. The moss hanging from the trees grabs drops of mist and all this water ends in the streams that dance down the mountain. As we made our way home, I began to understand how cutting down the forest would dry the streams and rivers. But how the farmers live without cutting down the trees? People in this small town used to cut down the forest, he said, but not anymore. So how do you live, I asked. Well, he said, we raise bees in the forest. Each year, the people from the water cooperative downstream buy us bee boxes and equipment. The bees use the forest to make honey, which we then sell. This way, we don't need to cut down the trees. Happy with this knowledge, I ran down the road, jumping over stream, eager to get back home to tell everything that I had learned. I gathered everyone around me and tell them about the importance of the forest and how the money we paid to our water company was used to make sure that the forest upstream continued to provide us all with water. 